Hey everybody, I'm Benjamin Bach for Inman Next, and today I'm bringing you a look at the brand new BlackBerry Bold 9900. Now it's the BlackBerry, it's this one right here. This is the 9780, the uh, Bold that was just replaced. And the 9900 is the first all-touch QWERTY Bold. So what that means is that the screen is completely touch, and you know you can touch anything on and all that stuff. And there's also the full QWERTY keyboard, which is the form factor that people love with the BlackBerry. Uh, so I just want to show you, this is the 9780. This was the flagship model until uh, the Bold came out. This is the one that's not touchscreen, but still has a great keyboard. And so this one uh, is the one I used to have. I think it's still a great form factor, but you can see it's quite a bit bigger. This is the new Bold right here. Um, sort of the traditional back, whereas the new Bold has carbon fiber on the back. Uh, you can see both the cameras up there. And so just to give you a sense, the new Bold is bigger. Um, it's a wider keyboard, and in my opinion, it's the best keyboard I've ever used on a phone. Um, I liked the Bold 9000, which was the first Bold I had. The 9780 is a great phone. They went with a smaller keyboard, and here at the 9900, they've gone back to the classic form function. So this is the 9780, and then this is the new Bold 9900. So I just want to show you a few things about this. First of all, touchscreen, as we mentioned. Uh, so we have a capacitive touchscreen, and I'll just show you, you know, I can just sort of zoom through my Twitter and all that stuff. We want we can just click up here, go take a look at some of my lists. And sort of go through there. We see a link we like, we can click on it. It'll take us to a website. So here's an article reformatting for mobile. Four reasons why QNX will put RIM back on the map. So this is something me and Chris Smith can probably debate for a while. Uh, but you can see, you know, you just sort of zoom through it, and if you like to see something, you can click on it and all that stuff. So everything you're used to doing right now on your BlackBerry, you can do on this just with a touch screen. So for example, if you want to keep in contact with your buddies on Facebook, you can do that. And if you used to use Facebook a lot to poke people, you sort of go on here and you just poke right there. If you want to use uh, Dropbox, you have your Dropbox app, which gives you access to all your files and... You know, so, for example, if I wanted to see some of the research or some of the files I'm working on, um, you know, so for example, if I needed uh, you know, the, our student uh, portfolio, the process and property so I'd just pull it up there. Um, I have Evernote on here, which is great to use. BBM Music, this is a cool new app that uh, just came out. So this is a uh, social music sharing app, so it's not, not the most business-focused app, but it's a lot of fun. So I have 1,496 songs, and this is through all my friends. And so this costs me uh, five bucks a month, although right now I'm in the beta. And so basically, you can listen to a great song like What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. And this is shared by a friend of mine. So I'm just going to turn it down. So this song has been shared by Denny, who's somebody I have on BBM. And if I wanted to, I could add that to my song. And then uh, that would be one of my 50 songs that I could share with my friends. And it's a really good music quality. And then if you add in headphones, for example, I have a pair of Skull Candy headphones that I use for uh, making business calls, and they also have wonderful acoustics. Sound quality is really great. Um, so I'll just show you how we can uh, just, let me show you, take a look through some of the emails. I just have this filtered for ESPN, so I'm not pulling up any client stuff. Um, so for example, just take a look at all your email. It's all right there. You can resize the email if you want or you can zoom in if you want to take a look at uh, my fantasy team actually that's not a bad let's take a look at the matchups this week so we have Tom Brady versus Ben Roethlisberger I'm gonna lose on that but I got Ray Rice Fred Jackson and Sean Green as my running backs I'm gonna sub out Santonio Holmes I'm gonna bench him for Denarius Moore so I think I'm gonna have a good week um, so that's a Blackberry 7 some other uh, features and functions um, so there's a, the screen, as I mentioned, is capacitative touch. The resolution is 640 by 480, and it's really high quality. Um, there's a 5 megapixel camera on here. Just let me zoom through, show you some pictures that I took on this phone. Um, so this is a picture of our dog. He's really adorable. These are uh, there's a tree in our neighborhood, and that's again a picture I took on this. So it's really it picks up nice colors and all that stuff. Um, in terms of connectivity. Um, you have mobile network, and on this, the mobile network is um, 4G and uh, 3G and HSPA, um, so whichever works for you. Actually, I think this is just 3G and HS, uh, HSDPA. 
I'm not up on the technical stuff, but it's very fast, good connectivity. Um, we have Bluetooth on this, we have near field communication, and that's the technology that you're seeing in products like Google Wallet right now. So there's, um, there's a lot more acceptance that needs to come for that sort of technology, but it's pretty cool, um, similar to Bluetooth. And this phone does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Down here at the bottom, you have BlackBerry Bridge. This is the way to connect uh, the BlackBerry to your playbook, which I'm going to cover in a separate video. Um, the camera on this is really good. So there's a 5 megapixel camera with a 4 times digital zoom and a flash built in. And um, you can see the camera and the flash there. And this is, again, as I mentioned, carbon fiber on the back. Very luxurious feeling. And the video camera, it uh, records in HD at 720p. Um, so this is really a, you know, I always tell people that BlackBerry is a serious communication device. But this is also a great device for capturing content, whether it's pictures or videos. I've heard some initial questions about battery life. Um, just so if you can see, it's about 3 o'clock and I've been using it pretty heavily and I'm at 63% of battery left. Um, I was tracking my battery usage last week and after 16 hours, so I've taken, taken my phone off the charger around 6.30 in the morning and this was about 10.30 or 10.40 at night, I was still at about 40% battery. So that was after a full day of uh, BBM, uh, BlackBerry Messenger and BlackBerry Messenger Music and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and email and camera and Twitter and all that stuff. Um, so I'm getting a lot of use out of it in terms of the battery. Um, I'm a pretty heavy user for this sort of stuff, so I always carry around an extra battery. Um, but the battery life's been good. Um, and now I'm such a power user that I actually carry around an extra BlackBerry that has an extra battery in addition to my 9900. So there you go. That's the BlackBerry 9900. It's a wonderful phone. I'm very happy with it. Any questions, just uh, find me on Twitter, at Benjamin Bach. Thanks for watching Inman Next, and I'll see you next time.